What up, YouTube? Got a little story time for y'all. In the wood, in this cold ass weather. You know, it's a blizzard going on. Or a snowstorm, not a blizzard. A little snowstorm. But I'm finna get into this story for y'all. Let me light this one real quick. Let me see, is this bitch even hitting? Oh, shit. Anyway, so, back, back when I was in Arizona, I used to work at this, this fast food place over there. Uh, one day, this this guy or whatever, he did not come to get no food or nothing. He just came there, dropped his car off, went in his back seat or his trunk, and grabbed his his golfing equipment. And his buddy came and picked him up, and he left. You no, know he left his keys on the table that you eat on outside. Knowing me, I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Daddy, cold in there? Mm-hmm. Yep. Cold in outside? Feel the same. Anyways, I ain't take them. The girl that I, that I did it with, she took the keys. <laughs> so meanwhile, we at work or whatever. The guy calling. We didn't tell the manager what we just got or what happened. So he clueless. The dude that left his car keys, he calling up to he calling up to the workplace. Like, have you guys seen my keys? I'm just looking at old girl like mm mm mm. He like, nah, bro, we ain't got your keys. He keep calling, bro. Like he getting. <laughs> <coughs> the manager getting irritated like bro we don't have no fucking keys so whatever we at work our shift come to an end we wait until like nighttime to strike i go home i get off work go home and get dressed to do some some devious shit and i come back to old girl house at the right time and she told her mom and her mom was in on it her mom was like, all right, bet, I'll take y'all. So I'm like, the fuck is going on? Motherfuckers really criminals around this bitch. Influencers too. All right, so around that time, it's like 10 o'clock at night. We get back to our job. Motherfuckers still working in that bitch, but they don't know nothing about the car, so we pull up to that bitch. I got my gloves on, got my mask, got my hoodie. You can't tell it's me. That's that's how bundled up I am. You cannot tell it's me. So So we get to the car or whatever. The shorty drive. She don't even know how to start the car. She thinking this a put the key in the ignition. She like, she panicking and shit. So we ain't even go, we ain't go nowhere yet. Shorty was panicking. Didn't even know how to start the car. I said, put your foot on the gas. I mean, put your foot on the brake and start this bitch and let's go. So we end up getting on this bitch. Instead of taking away, we got there. We took a long ass way to get back. I'm just sitting in this bitch like, man, I hope we don't get caught. Because I'm going to feel bad for old girl because I'm taking off. Like, I'm gone. So, we end up making it home safely. We, we parked the car. 
and you search up the van you search the car the van was clean he did not report that bitch stolen or nothing the van was clean on that bitch he probably thought somebody told it and, uh shit what else so we end up having this car we ain't we ain't really drive it we ain't really drive it unless like motherfuckers like Hmm. Bro, we, we barely drove that bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you. We drove that bitch like two or three times and that was it. Cause I was like, man, I ain't finna ride around in no stoli. Like, hell no. Nah. But we had that bitch. So I'm like, man, we got this car and we ain't doing shit with this bitch. I post that bitch on offer up. Motherfuckers came out there, wasted my time, and wasted their time. But it was one person that came and got that bitch without the title. He was like, no title? He was like, all right, huh. Slapped my money in my hand. I walked off like, mm, I'm straight. I'm good. Next thing you know, I go I go to work like two, two, three weeks later. I see the same dude with a new car doing the same shit over again taking his taking his golf clothes out of his car putting it in his buddy car but he ain't leave his keys this time he made sure those bitches was on him parked this car in the same spot yeah but that's it that was all the little story time for y'all Man, it's cold as fuck out here. Like, I got a whole bunch of stories to tell y'all, but that's gonna be in all the other videos, so. me face this shit like fuck it I'm facing <laughs> bro look at this snow Look at that shit, y'all. Yeah, it's dangerous. And I'm out here smoking in it. I need to <coughs> <coughs> Oh shit. Just keep closing. I think I'm gonna end the video, y'all. <coughs> Ooh, let's get a little chilly in this bitch. Like, it's already chilly. <coughs> <coughs> but it's real cold. Peace out, y'all. I'm back. I got a little story time for y'all. Alright. How y'all been? I know it's been a while. I barely be dropping this shit, but shit. It's a time and a place for everything.
anyway, so I'm in Arizona, right? Working at my job where I used to work at when I uh, lived in Arizona. I ain't gonna say where I used to work at. Cause at the same time, I did do some devious shit at that job. So, some dude, it was like early in the morning. It was early in the morning around like nine, ten o'clock. It was, a, I don't know if he was a customer, but this nigga got out of his car and got into somebody else's car with some golf gloves or whatever. And he left his keys at the table, at this little outside table where you can eat at. And one of the employees went out there and said, ooh, he left his keys. And I said, on what? On what he left his keys? Oh my gosh, bro. I'll be back. I gotta go light this bitch off the stove because I can't find a lighter.